hello beautiful thank you for clicking my video i have another wig show and tell for you all today this wig is from you nice hair my apologies to you nice hair they sent me this wig last year december 2022 you can even see their packaging have the holiday theme but if you are interested in this wig during the video or by the end of the video the website link to this wig direct store and social media links will be in the description box love when you order, you receive some goodies in the box. Happy belated Christmas, you nice hair. They also sent a HD wig cap. These are perfect for ball caps, a you nice edge band, eyelashes, a real nice fluffy makeup brush. And the wig comes in this long clear plastic baggie. Here's a close-up of inside of the cap construction. It comes with a 13 by 4 frontal parting space. Behind the frontal parting space, you get two combs, another comb and a nape area with adjustable straps. They also inserted a adjustable elastic band that you can remove if you do not want to wear it. As for the lace, it looks like it's transparent lace, but the lace is soft and this wig do not come with no foul odor. The hair texture is on the silky side. The hair is pre-colored. This is how the wig comes straight out of the package. The hairstyle that I have is body wave. Here's a close up on the hairline. The hairline is really lightly pre-plucked and the knots do not come bleached and this wig comes as a middle part. I took my hot comb and mold the hair back because off camera I'm gonna go in and bleach the knots. I left the bleach on the knots for about one hour and it took the bleach really well. I should have went in and bleached it twice, but eh, one is good, it ain't that bad. So to bleach the knots, I went in with BW2 bleaching powder, 40 volume developer with a drop of 186 Adore Rich Eggplant. This just helps tone the knots while it's bleaching so it doesn't come out too brassy. I washed the wig and left the wig to air dry overnight and this is how it looks the next day. Off camera, I started going in and plucking the hairline. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a middle part or a right side part, but I was like, hey, let me just go with the right side part. So this is how the hairline came out after I was done plucking it. I noticed the shape of the hairline is more of a box shape, so I'm just gonna try my best to make it work. And to get this wig style really popping, I was like, let me go in and add some curls. So I'm gonna go in with my T3 curling iron. I don't have the temperature too high. I have it on the number three setting. And I go in with the curling iron first, like a flat iron, like I'm straightening it. Then I go in with the curling iron and curl the hair. I don't have any product on the hair, but after I do the curls, I add some bedhead hardhead spray to hold the curls. I don't want to hold up too much of y'all time and make this video really long. I just want to show you guys how I curled the wig so you guys know the curl type I did. And I just needed to curl the wig so I can do my heatless curls because once I go through with the comb, the curls drop instantly. But once I go in with the heatless curler, it will help hold the curls overnight for when I'm ready to do the wig show and tell.
If you are interested in this wig and you just want to curl it, this is how the curls look after I went in with the curling iron. And it's really gorgeous. I love that feathered bang at the side. Really, really cute. But like I said, I was going to go in with this heatless curler so the curls could sit overnight and make the curls a little tighter. So with the heatless curler, it's really easy. You just take the stick. You mist your hair if you want, but I didn't mist my hair. I use heat to set it. You clip the top wrap the hair around the one leave it in for a few hours then take out the stick and bada boom bada bang you got some beautiful curls so now i'm gonna go in with my eyebrow razor and i'm just taking this razor and i'm cutting right along the hairline in little zigzag motions and i'm trying my best to be careful to not cut into the hairline because if you cut into the hairline, you're going to mess up the shape of the hairline and that will also cause shedding. So just take your time when cutting off the lace. Here I am, and here is the Wiggy Anna. Still nice and set, ready for the next day. So let's see how it came out. Underneath the wig, I'm gonna go in with a brown stocking cap. So first things first, I'm going to get the lace to match my skin. On top of the lace, I'm going in with leftover foundation that's on my makeup brush and I'm just wiping it on top of the lace. Now I'm gonna go in with this olive oil super hold spray and spray one layer of this on top of the lace for my wig show and tell so you guys can see how this wig lays down for the end result. After that, I go in with the blow dryer on the warm setting and blow dry it until it's completely dry. Now I'm gonna take my rat tail comb and take the end of it to press the end of the lace into my skin to make sure it's nice and flat and nothing is lifting up. I tied the lace down for about six minutes. It really wasn't that long. I was kind of being like impatient. But after that, I go in and finger comb the curls. All right, y'all, I'm trying, y'all, I'm trying. So far, so good. Now I'm gonna take this Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 360 and apply some of this makeup powder on top of the lace to the parting space and hairline. This just helps the parting space look a little bit more like scalp and it helps the hairline appear a little bit more like scalp as well. All 
All right, so now I'm about to do my favorite part, which is my little one-two shake. And shake these curls out to add some value. And let's see what it's looking like. Okay, not bad, not bad. All right, y'all, right here is my end results. And wow, I am impressed with what I have done. This came out gorgeous. And I love how even though this wig comes pre-colored, the color doesn't have a super harsh line of demarcation. It's nice and faded from the roots into the purple, which I'm really, really impressed with because I was nervous it was going to have that harsh line of demarcation, but it don't. The length of the wig that I have is 24 inches. Again, this is from You Nice Hair. This wig comes with a 13 by four parting space, so you can part this wig in the right, middle, or left. You can even probably do like a little half up, half down style. The lace is not looking bad on my skin at all. Like, wow, I did that. You can kind of see the lace outline, but you guys have to remember it is a difference between lace and scalp. I'm also gonna show you guys what it looked like in the sunlight. The hair density, I would say, is no more than 150%. I feel like the hair density is really nice, especially for every day. It doesn't come off too thick. It doesn't come off too thin. It's right in between. When I washed the wig out after I bleached the knots, I did notice how there was running dye in the sink. And I'm not surprised. Like It is a purple virgin hair wig, so I did expect some dye to come out in the sink. I do believe this wig only comes in one size. And I would say the size is pretty average. My head circumference is 22 inches and it fits really snug with where I hook the adjustable straps. If you have a bigger head, I honestly feel like you're in for the clear because I have a lot of stretch cap room left in there. And if you have a smaller head, then I recommend crisscrossing the adjustable straps or you can even go in and insert your own elastic band. When I split the hair in the back, I noticed how my tracks are showing and you can't see my wig cap. So that's good for the ladies that like splitting their hair because I'm definitely one of them. A few people on TikTok was asking me if I think the quality is good. I feel like the quality is pretty okay. Like, I feel like you could get a lot of wears out of it. I'm just not sure how much it will hold a curl on a really, really hot day because it's just really silky. But girl, you nice hair did their thing with this one. The purple is very cute. As for the lace, like I said before, it doesn't look too bad on my skin once you get it to match your skin color. And this is what it looks in the sunlight. And it just looked like a deep, beautiful plum color. Definitely would turn heads. I love how the color is not too bright, not too dark. Like, it's just there. It's just a nice, small pop, but not too much of a big pop, if you get what I'm saying. So that's pretty much it, you guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I get back to them as soon as possible. Follow me on TikTok to see some of my reviews before I upload them on YouTube. I also will be giving away this wig, so stay tuned to find out how you can get it. See you guys later.